we're gonna do is we are going to unbox and test out this kit. I do not know what the kit is called. Oh, the 18 volt homeowners kit. It is my, oh, the kit itself is model number P1986. And this is pretty much a drill uh, and uh, like the little tools that you would get normally in kits. Now I've never seen some of these tools in person before. Like I've never seen the screwdrivers, the knife, and the needle nose pliers. So I'm actually excited about this. And we're actually gonna test out the drill with this. Now uh, this is the drill kit. It has some uh, drill bits and some sp uh, spade bits. So we are gonna test that out with this. Alrighty, so what about my Ryobi knife? Yeah, I saw this kit, you know, I would always, I would pass it up and just be like, nah, I'm okay, I don't need those tools. But then the opportunity came up to get it, so I got it. I got this a couple days ago, and yeah. Look at that, that bag is big. That is a big bag. It's a nice art on the box, but this is recycling. Alrighty, so this bag is big. Like, uh, you can see my, uh... My measuring pad, it starts at 11 inches and ends at 23. So that's actually extremely, this is big. This is awesome. I like this bag. I like this bag a lot. All right, so the first thing you get, of course, you get instructions and a warranty card. You know, let's put you up here. And so you get instructions and a warranty card. What's this? There you go. That goes into the instruction bag. All right. First thing you get. Oh, this thing's this thing's this thing's tiny. Those are the bit sizes you get. All righty. So, ooh, like these are these are nice. All right. So then these are the the drill bits you get. There you go. Get some T20s, you get some flatheads, you get some T25s, uh, some S2s, and some, uh, yeah, just a PH1, you know, the standard stuff. If you have a buy a drill bit set, you already have them. All right, then here is the, the stuff I was excited about. Ooh, look at that. That is all, oh, that is nice. All right, before I even take this apart, I want you to look inside. Look at that. That is so nicely, that's nice and packed in there. See, to me, this is just like beauty. This is beauty right here. Alrighty, so here is the needle nose pliers and the knife. This is nice. See, it's nice to have an official Ryobi hand tool. That's nice, I like that. Rubber molding is the same as they there is on the, uh, on the on the drills and tools. Good grip, really good grip. All right, here's the cutting knife, the box cutter, if you will. And of course, you guys know how to work this once a blade. Uh, you guys know how to work this system once a blade gets dull. You just break it off, and then you have a fresh blade. That's why they call it a snapping blade. All right, then you get the charger which is, this is model number P118B. And so, yeah, this is, like I said in previous videos, this is a fast uh, charger. It's the, the newest edition uh, for the charger. It is a fast one. We are gonna do a versus video between this and the, the green one soon to see which one charges what faster. All right, then we have the tape measure, which is the 25. 25 footer which they Ryobi makes two versions uh, let me get it I'm trying to get it there we go Ryobi makes two versions they also make a 26 foot and the and here is that one and here is the 25 which the 25 foot is what I like the most because you actually get the fractions 
you actually get the fractions in this with this one, which help this helps me out a lot because I suck at math. The 25 footer. And as you can see, this one does not have the fractions on it. So and so yeah, this tape measure is seriously awesome. I use it all the time. And uh, and yeah. So yeah, it has a belt clip. So I do if you, you can get this online separately at the Home Depot web, Home Depot website. So if you want to pick uh, right away tape measure, you can order one. Alrighty, so next is the two screwdrivers. I'm giving you guys what you want first. That's why I'm doing these right now. Alright, so this is the uh, the flathead. Ooh, nice grip. It has these... Uh... Come on, focus. It has the uh, this design on it to where that seriously like lets you get major grip. That's on both of them. Which is very good. It's good to have screwdrivers. I'm glad I got Ryobi ones. It's awesome. It's seriously, seriously awesome. Alrighty, the next is the hammer. Is this one bigger than the one I got? No, that's not bigger. No, it's not bigger. Alright, so here is the new... Hey, here's mine. It's all messed up. And then here's the new one, which the the head looks a little different. If it looks a little oh, but that is the the hammer, which this thing is awesome. This is made out of the same material as the the drills and all everything else. This is extremely. I do not know what material this is, but the grip is all oh, that. It's seriously a nice. It feels good in the hand too. Because this is extremely, extremely grippy. Sorry, I don't know the exact term for that, but, but yeah, I'm mean, like this. It's it's awesome. Too bad Home Depot doesn't sell these in their store all the time. They should. They seriously should, because it, it seriously is a good tool, and it also has a magnet to where you can keep your screw, uh, your your nail. Do not have a nail on me. Have to give you an example, then you can get it started. So that, that's actually an awesome feature to have. So yeah. So all these items are awesome. But last but not least, this one seems bigger than the one that I have. What type of... So it says it comes with a 1.5. Let's see. It comes with a 1.5. Standard battery. Nothing special about that, the P102. And so, yeah, there you go, brand new 1.5. Excellent. Put that on charge. Then here is the drill. Oh, no, I, I, I never own this one. And there you go, you gotta love brand new, how the, the right away tools look brand new. All right, so like I said, it's a 24 in, uh, position clutch plus one, which is the drill. The model number for this is P277. It is a half inch chuck. Uh, zero, to four, uh, zero to 440 RPMs on setting one, and setting two, zero to 1600 RPMs. Which there you go, it's, it's, a, standard, it's a standard drill. Uh, where do I have an extra battery somewhere? Yes, I do. I got my three amp hour compact battery. There you go. At speed two. At a speed one. That sounds different than what I normally. That sounds different than what I'm used to. We are gonna put this drill to the test and see what it can do. And like I said, we're gonna test them out with this. So I'm actually going to use the, the box cutter. See, and this is why you need a a, a cutting a board like this. Because you could do this without caring. See, just do it on it itself. Who cares? Very sharp. You guys know how much of a pain to cut it is to get these out. And there we go. 
goes from half inch to a one and one eighth spades. The biggest one is three eighths. I'm not gonna lie, this drill sounds different than anything else that I, I have used. We're gonna drill two holes, see what happens. All right, so this is with the P277. Ready, go. There's a knot right there. All right, this is this is happening at the end. Because it, when this happens, it gets caught on a broken piece of wood, and it it just stops it. It's a, it, it goes through all the way, but it just stops. It just prevents it from going in. All right, we're gonna do one more hole. Go. Yeah, we're gonna speed too. See, right there, because right, it's through. It's caught on a broken piece of wood. I think I need better wood. All right, we're gonna do one more test. We are gonna see and how well this does making three quarter inch holes. And so we are gonna do three holes and see how long this takes. All right, so th ready, go. Feel that it's smoking. It is smoking. All right, let's continue. Let's do one more. That variable speed trigger, that trigger is a little, a little awkward. I feel like I got to press in a lot more than I normally do. All right, so one more hole. Ready, go. There we go. Is it smoking? It is not smoking. It is not smoking. You know, uh, a Milwaukee do the same thing when I used it for the first time. You know, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more. Ready? Go. There we go. Battery life is almost dead. You know what? I want to show you guys one thing. I just want to show you really quickly on the standard brushless drill. On what it can do compared to that. This is uh, it's it's not it's not a hammer drill, it's just a brushless drill. One go. Just like that. Do one more. All right, so three, two, one, go. Just like that, done. You know, like the this is like, it's like they should have put this in this kit. I'm like, this is warm, like really warm. This is not. This is not.
you know, the brushless system, you know, it's way more powerful than this. I just want to show you guys that really quick. But like, uh... Alright, so let's clean up. That's pretty much it. And one thing I wanted to talk about really quick was the bag. Now this bag is uh, is very very uh, re uh, the walls and the walls and bottom are majorly reinforced. Now like so as you can see, it's holding its shape no matter what. Uh, the walls, sides, and back are really really reinforced, which is good. Which it, it'll stay, it'll keep its shape. It just won't cave in like like a, a regular bag would, you know, like squeeze in like that. So it's actually a, a really good bag. I'm glad I got it. You know, like I am dis I'm not disappointed with the drill. I was hoping that they would put a different one in there. Uh, obviously it's on the art of the, of the box, but so that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. And happy holidays.